about. And today, I'm going to take you on the adventure of a lifetime through the structure of a leaf cell. Look at her, all of her curves and edges. Ain't she a beaut? Now, from the outside, this leaf doesn't look like much. But from the inside, she's working harder than ever to produce food and energy for her cell. Inside this beautiful specimen, there's a production process laid out like a factory. And inside every leaf cell, there's a nucleolus. Now, the nucleolus is like the filing cabinet. It contains the blueprints, or in the case of the leaf cell, it contains the genetic material for the cell. Now, around the nucleolus is the nucleus. The nucleus is like the boss's office that contains the plans of the cell and gives cells orders and executes them. Something else that this leaf contains is the cell membrane. The cell membrane gives the cell shape and it's the second most outer layer of the cell that acts as a security check and only lets certain materials through the cell. Without the cell membrane, the whole leaf would be torn apart by intruders and unwanted materials entering the cell. Now, outside the cell membrane is the cell wall. The cell wall gives the extra protection and establishes itself like a brick wall and gives the plant cell an even more solid structure. One of the most important processes of the factory to be functional is the product maker. In the, plants, in the plant cell, there's an endoplasmic reticulum that creates the protein and the lipids. These lipids get transported to the Golgi body. The Golgi body maintains the cell's health by distributing these lipids and proteins throughout the cell, keeping it healthy and happy. Now, my favorite organelle in any plant and animal cell is the mitochondria. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It acts as a generator inside the factory. Without this organelle, there would be no, there wouldn't be any power inside the leaf cell to make lipids and create energy needed to survive. Now, on Saturdays, I like to enjoy nothing more than a bowl of jelly. And every time I eat it, it reminds me of cytoplasm. Inside the cell, inside the cell, the cytoplasm's job is to keep everything in place and maintains the cell's interior structure, much like our bones that keep us standing. Ribosomes are also very important organelles. They are like the worker in the factory. They make proteins through the protein synthesis. Another interesting thing about the ribosome, they are one of the main factors of photosynthesis and create what is needed to survive for the leaf cell and helps the cell grow in time. Another organelle located in the leaf cell that helps the cell grow is the centriole. The centriole is like, the, is like when a factory expands and makes new factories. Centrioles are the big factor in cell division. Once the cell gets too big, it will divide using cell division. Now, a plant cell is special. They contain organelles that can only be found in plant cells, not animal cells. One, big, one of the big ones is chloroplast, and the other being the vacuole. These two organelles work together, side by side. The chloroplast is like the solar panel of the factory. It absorbs the sun's energy and creates food for the cell. Anything left over goes into the vacuole. The vacuole stores extra water and food for the cell. Now, over here, we have a leaf that is starting to die. You can tell because of the way it's changed in color. This color change is due to the lack of chlorophyll inside the leaf cell. and indicates the leaf is dying. And that's everything you need to know about the leaf cell. And if you excuse me, I have a scuba diving trip to go to. See you all in the next video.